economic shocks can turn into a crisis if they are of a large magnitude and if they are long-lasting. Let's take the case of Chile as an example. A shock can create a crisis if the decline in the price of copper, let's say, the source of the shock, is large. Second, if it is long-lasting. Third, if the country is not prepared to withstand the shock. In the case of Chile, that was more or less the situation in the 1970s and in the 1980s. The country learned, put in place uh, copper stabilization funds, other macroeconomic measures, and now economic shocks that took place in the 1990s and in the 2000s, and even now, in the first half of this decade, uh, have produced milder effects on the economy. We live in a, in a global economy. Our economies are more interdependent to each other. Therefore, we are bound to be affected by external shocks, be them changing the price of the export commodity that you export the most, be a change in capital inflows, be the effect of a global recession, etc. The question is, how do you get better prepared to withstand those shocks? The experience of Chile shows, first, save money in good times, when the price of your export commodity is good, when external conditions are booming, you have uh, windfalls, save those in, uh, windfalls. Put that money in so-called stabilization funds. Because when the, pr the situation changes, and we know the economy is a cyclical uh, process, and if you have uh, adverse shocks, you will have money to withstand those shocks. That's one lesson, very important. Second, build an, uh, an adequate level of international reserves. Usually this is managed by the central bank. Third, have flexibility in your exchange rate regimes. Flexible exchange rate regimes allow shocks to be absorbed by the exchange rate and not by output, not by employment, not by investment. Fourth, be prudent in the level of public expenditure. Keep to extent possible government accounts balanced, preferably running fiscal surpluses in good times. Fourth, have a flexible economic structure. And fifth, have good luck. You don't want economic shocks to turn into an economic crisis. Prepare yourself as a country in your economic management, in your fiscal account, in your exchange rate regime, in your stabilization funds, in the level of international reserves. That's very important to avoid crisis.